After this video, you will also be able to get bot lobbies in Fortnite Chapter 4. Now, as you can see currently on the screen that I'm getting a lot of bots in my gameplays in Fortnite in Chapter 4, and eventually I'm leveling up faster. So even you can do this with a simple tweak in the settings. So watch this video till the very end and don't skip a single step and I will teach you how you can get into bot lobbies in Fortnite Chapter 4. Now bot lobbies are not difficult to get when a new chapter or new season arrives as out of 100 at least 30 to 40 players are bots. But after this video you will get into lobbies which has at least 80 to 90 bots or even more depending on the region. Getting more bots means getting easy kills and eventually leveling up more faster. Moreover, the good thing about this trick is that you can do this on any device whether it's a console, PS4, PS5, Xbox, Nintendo Switch, in PC or even in an Android phone. So what exactly you have to do is open Fortnite and as you can see I'm currently on my lobby. You just need to go ahead to the settings tab in the top hand corner. So click on those three lines and then you will see the settings over here. Click on it and as you can see these are all my video settings which doesn't play much a role in doing this trick but if you want you can copy these settings just in case but this doesn't have to do anything with the bot lobbies. The important tab is the next tab which is the game tab and as you can see these are all my settings and here two important settings are there. The very first setting is you have to just come down to the very very bottom just scroll down and as you can see record replays are there you just need to turn it off and record large team replays also turn it off. This is a very very important setting so make sure before you do any of the further steps you do those two things and then you scroll up you will find your ping and as you can see I'm currently playing on the Middle East region of the matchmaking. What you need to do is whether you play on Brazil, Europe or whatever region you play doesn't matter. You just need to switch to some other region. Right now I'm gonna do it to Asia because that's the other region which I have the less amount of ping. It doesn't matter which you choose. I can I could have chosen even Brazil as well. So you just choose any of the ping and then choose any of the match and then simply start a game. So if you're in the Europe region, you just need to switch to any other kind of region. Whatsoever it's it may be, it doesn't really matter. Just switch it and then you just go into the game. Choose any mode, duo, solo, squad, or any kind of mode and simply start a game. And wait for the match to load. And after you have gone in the match, what you need to do is, so as you can see, I'm currently on the island right now and we're waiting for the battle bus. And here one important step which you need to remember is that, and currently I have like 10 seconds for the battle bus to arrive. So when the battle bus comes, you need to make sure to mark a place in the map. It doesn't matter which place you go and uh, it doesn't matter where you want to go. Just you need to land in certain place of the map. So I'm just going to jump off the battle bus and eventually pick a place. So let me open the map and I guess I have not discovered this particular place. So I'm just going to go over there. As you can see, I'm going to go over here. It doesn't matter where you want to go. You can land anywhere you like. Your job is to just land over here. And after you have landed, then what you have to do is. So as you can see, I have currently landed right now. And you can leave uh, this particular match right now also or you can play also, it doesn't matter. Your job is to just simply go to the, go back to the lobby from here. But I'm just gonna mess up a little bit with this particular guy. I think this is a bot itself because I think I have enabled the settings as well. Yeah, it looks like a bot to me. So it doesn't matter if you die or if you directly jump to the lobby. So you just need to click on continue and then you just have to return to the lobby. So after you have returned to the lobby and once your player comes to the lobby, then what you have to do is you have to move to the settings again. So simply when you're in the lobby, click on those three lines, go to the settings, simply click on it and then go to the matchmaking region, choose the ping which you use for your daily purpose. Make sure record replays and luck or large replays are both off. Very, very important. Then the game UI, touch and motion, mouse and keyboard, these are not that important. Our main important setting is the account and privacy. Now this is the most important setting over here which you need to change. First and foremost, the player survey. So it says that enable or disabling whether or not you're willing to receive periodic player surveys from Epic Games. Now this is simply a setting which gives surveys from Epic, we just need to turn it off because it's not necessary to put it, turn it on so you can turn this one off. So basically what we're trying to tell is that we're telling Epic that we don't want any kind of service 
from Epic Games. After this, you just need to scroll down and you will find the most important setting which is the hidden matchmaking delay. Now, as you can see, I have put a value of seven seconds. You also have to increase it. By default, it will be zero, but you don't have to increase it to a very high amount, like not probably like 50, 70 or something like that. You just need to put in a sweet spot. For me, seven seconds is the best sweet spot. And that is what I generally use. You can use any value between five and 10. And what this will do is, as it states, as you can read over there, that it creates a random small delay during matchmaking and hides matchmaking status updates to limit repeat in-game harassment. The random delay is choosing between zero and the number of seconds selected. Each attempt to play will randomly generate a delay. Note, enabling this setting will cause longer queue time. So as it says that if you put a very, very high value that it will enable or it will cause longer queue time. So you have to find a sweet spot. For me, I have tried all the values that is from five to 10. I have not gone beyond 10 and not less than five. So you can find any value and which suits you the best. For me, seven is the best, but sometimes I do play on six as well. So you can put on seven and then click apply, and then you have to go back to the game and then start the game again. And you will eventually get land into a bot lobby. It's quite simple and easy. And here you need to remember that you have done the very first step, that is the ping step, which I have shown. You have done the very first step, that is the changing your pin and going into the game. Land anywhere you feel like, and then simply come back to the lobby you can play the match also it doesn't matter but you just need to come back to the lobby after that after that make your ping to the previous one as it should be and then make sure that your both the replay record replays and record large replays are both turned off after that you can go back to the account and privacy player survey should be turned off as it doesn't require and also the hidden matchmaking delay as i have said value should be between 5 and 10 it should not go beyond 10. It should not be less than five. Find a sweet spot for you. For any value, you will definitely get bots, but for one particular value, you will get more bots as compared to the other value. So that value you have to try, eventually trying all the values will, and which value you're getting the more bots in a particular lobby. So you can try each of the lobby. For me, seven is perfectly fine. So those were some simple steps by which you can get bot lobbies in Fortnite chapter four. And if this video helped you, please don't forget the like button. Consider subscribing to my channel if you're new here. And do comment down in the comment section that how much bot you're currently getting right now in your game, please. And how much bot you have got after you have tried all these steps. And do also comment down then on what console or PC or in an Android where you're playing. And I'll see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.